Hi there, my name is uh, Kostas Meimeris and I am Director of Product Strategy in uh, Ublocks for the Short Range Products. Uh, we are here this year at uh, TU Detroit 2016 and we are presenting our products and uh, what is our vision around the highly automated driving. So uh, what we think about this market is that we are moving to a phase where beyond the traditional sensors that are, do exist in the vehicles today, like radars, lidars, cameras, we need two other very critical components in that mix. And that is the GNSS with lane level accuracy and also V2X connectivity. So this year we are introducing our innovations in that domain. We're having products. We're always at the forefront of GNSS technology. And I am here also with my colleague, uh, Frank Bernie, who is responsible for our GNSS market development. And maybe he can tell you a little bit about how we are innovating in that space. Thank you. Yes, uh, our vision at Ublox is that um, a lane accurate uh, GNSS is instrumental for autonomous driving. Um, it's very nicely complement uh, existing uh, traditional technology like uh, cameras and radars and lidar and so on. For example, uh, in degraded weather conditions, uh, the radar or uh, camera may not work, but the GNSS is still here. Uh, so we believe. Uh, uh, GNSS uh, system is instrumental for uh, autonomous driving. Uh, when we talk about GNSS, it's not a standard GNSS as we have today for navigation, because the system is much more demanding. Uh, first, it has to be uh, safe, because it's part of a safety system. Uh, it has to be lane accurate, obviously, to, to enable this application. Also, it has to be um, gives kind of what we call integrity. Integrity is a, a measure of trust that we uh, can uh, place into the GNSS. Uh, we need to know where we are and if we can trust this information. Uh, in the, and if we cannot trust it, then the system needs to deliver a warning so we can disregard the GNSS during a certain period of time. This is a concept that is today used for planes, um, has been using for a long time, and now we are transposing to the automotive industry. And also, uh, last but not least, uh, it has to be affordable because today this kind of high-end system do exist, but uh, the, 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 their cost is the price of a car. So we want to make this happen at a uh, price compatible with uh, automotive uh, constraints.